Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the response variable. So when you send the request using the Karate framework, the response of the request get automatically stored in a variable called response. And you can use this response variable to add the additional assertion or the validation in your test script. So let me show you an example. So inside our package, I'm going to create one more feature file. And let me call it as response matcher. Inside this feature file, I will add the feature keyword followed by a title and a short description. After this, I'm going to use the background keyword to specify the base URL for our test application. Then I'm going to create the scenario. So this is the variable which is provided by the Karate framework that will contain the response. And I'm using the print function to print whatever the response I'm getting after sending the get request to this endpoint. In the similar manner, I will create one more scenario. In that scenario, I want the data to be in the XML format. Now, as we have created a new feature file, we need to add this feature file in our runner so that runner can invoke this script. If you look at the implementation of the run method, the parameter to the run method is variable arguments. That means I can supply multiple string arguments in this method. So this is how I'm specifying multiple feature file inside the same runner. And let me go ahead and run this runner. Now let us look at the console. So you can see here, this is our response, which is in JSON format. And this is the response from the second scenario, which is in XML format. So basically you can use the response variable to fetch the response of the request.